Many times the world might push you around Take your breath, knock you down Step up, be the sheriff in your town The impact of Dreamcatchers, um, from my perspective, is really, um, it's very broad um, but for individuals it can be very specific. Well, my son is um, he's eight years old, he has autism and he's nonverbal. The parents of the students that say their child is following directions. Well, that doesn't sound like a really big deal until they realize that after riding the child doesn't have to have everything repeated. It made them more focused, more relaxed, more calm when he's on the horses and I see it like throughout you know his days and stuff so it's therapeutic for him. We live in Northumberland County, which is about an hour and a half from here, one way. So we made the commitment to come down and and to give it a try. And she was a whole lot calmer, a whole lot more, um, you know, receptive to ideas. I'm getting really responsible and doing my homework. That way, I don't have to listen to my mom saying, "Do it, do it." Horses are just such a huge animal, and to think that they're controlling it and that you know she is in control of something and that now she can be in control of homework or helping more around the house. For Ricardo has been a lot of, a lot of help definitely. His improvement has been um, very amazing. I mean uh, in terms of the communication, in terms of the behaviors. I think that's the best thing for me, the behaviors. The aggressive behavior stuff. The development has been better uh, he, in the school. You can see the reports are getting better. So we do help him a lot to have that st space with the, this time with the horse. I really don't think Emma would be walking as well as she does without you know, being able to ride Blackie. Um, I really do feel like this place has given her everything that she needs. The impact of dream catchers is it's hard to quantify. It's at an individual level. Every single person you talk to is going to talk to you about the impact on them in a different way. It's just, you know, boosted her confidence. It's physically helped her with stretching and getting in some of that therapy. You're having fun while you're doing it. All of our volunteers, who without whom we could not do what we do, our volunteers are key. You get a lot more out of a place as a volunteer than you than you wind up giving but but being able to share your time with the people who really need it and are really appreciative of it is a very rewarding feeling when you see a child who won't let you touch them go up to their horse and kiss his nose it's so, it's so wonderful, it, that relationship and how much the horses love them too and that's a pretty neat thing as well. The Dreamcatcher volunteers are really uh, special folks. They take their time, they interact, it gives Madeline time to interact with other adults. For individual families, it's um, a place where their child or they themselves can actually um, be in a place where their ability or lack of ability doesn't matter. Um, everyone is accepted here. Everyone is um, able to be an equestrian athlete. Oh no. Oh dear. Being around kids with cope with a lot of the same, same thing that she does um, actually helps her and gives her confidence and you know those types of things. So Dreamcatchers has been a blessing in so many ways. It's um, fun and it gives me a chance to interact with other people with disabilities. They always say this not only help him, Ricardo, but also both because we live uh, both three. So when we come, it's just for us also. It's kind of sometimes uh, seeing the horse help me myself. So has been a lot. It's not just the impact on the individual from riding here. It's the impact on the community that everybody has been part of building here. We are a family. We are a community. That's the impact. And it's as individual as each and every person. And it's as global as all of us together. This is where they get to be um, superstars. We impact self-esteem, we impact physical ability, we impact relationships and communication, and um, not just among the students, but among the families as well. It changed the life of a child 
and a family. Dreamcatchers is huge to us. Financially, we couldn't do it without the scholarship. It has given our daughter, Emma, a good quality of life. Her to be able to ride a horse, I mean, how special is that? You know, what little kid or, you know, boy or girl wouldn't want to ride a horse? I am a normal uh, worker uh, and we try our best, but if you can because you have to pay like a normal living stuff. So uh, to be able to provide him this, with this scholarship, is really help uh, a lot our quality of life and his quality of life. So without that, I am unable to register him. And I know that that's a lot. I'm passionate about dream catchers because of our mission, because of the community that we've created here at Dreamcatchers, it's all inclusive. We change lives and we change lives in sometimes very minute ways and sometimes incredibly large ways. Waka. There's no stopping her. She doesn't believe there's anything she can't do. This is their joyful place. That relationship where the horse totally accepts them. Even if they're having a meltdown, the horse just takes a deep breath and relaxes. And you see the child take a deep breath and relax. I don't know how to measure that. I just know it happens every day. To know that he has somewhere to come and he's not judged, um, it makes me feel good to see him on a horse because I know that it's, it's helping him. It just put joy in my heart to see him smile when he's on the horse. Every kid, you know, deserves a chance to be happy and uh, to do what makes him happy. And this dream catcher really makes him happy being on a horse. Oh, but let it be. Sit up tall and remember to breathe. And never ever give up on your dream. Don't you ever give up on